Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today I want to talk about how I fixed the issue where the Elgato capture card is not transmitting sound when connecting your PlayStation 4 or game console through there to the TV. And you get the feed, you get the picture, but you get no sound. So I've seen that a lot of people had this issue. I recently had this issue and it was extremely frustrating. So let me really quick explain how I connected it and then how I fixed it. So to start, I had my computer on. I connected the Elgato HD60S capture card via the USB cable to the computer while it was already on. And with Windows 10, it already finds its drivers and gets it working. So I was able to launch OBS, which is my preferred software. And I was able to add the Elgato capture card as the actual video device. Now at this point, I still had not gone to the Elgato website to download the driver, nor had I downloaded the Elgato capture software. Just with my computer being connected to the internet and then connecting the HD60S via USB, it was good to go and recognize on OBS. But I got no sound through the OBS, nor did I get any sound when I actually just went to the TV input. Now when I would disconnect the HD60S and then connect the HDMI directly from my PS4 back to the TV, I got video and sound. But the moment I connected it to the HD60S, no sound, only video. So here's a quick and easy solution that worked for me. I don't know if it'll work for you, but it definitely instantly started working for me. I downloaded the Elgato capture software, even though I only use OBS. The moment I downloaded it and installed it, and then opened up the program to actually have the HD60S run the feed into the Elgato capture software, it instantly started playing sound. So it seems that you actually need the Elgato capture software installed on the computer even if you're using OBS, in order for the capture card to work properly. So once I saw that I got sound into the software, I went to the TV and made sure that I got sound to the TV, and I did. And then I closed the Elgato capture software and then opened up OBS, and instantly I had sound in OBS along with the video. So whatever you do, even if you're using only OBS, do not uninstall Elgato capture software. Another thing to note is that when you install the Elgato capture software, it'll also ask you if you wanna install the Elgato capture sound which is a separate software that integrates with all that, but I actually chose not to install that. So I only installed the Elgato Capture software, no Elgato Capture Sound. So that's all I had to do to make it work. Another very important thing to note is that the Elgato HD60, HD60S, HD60S Plus, they have a 3.5 millimeter jack where you can have analog audio coming in. So you actually have sound coming in through there instead of the sound coming in through the HDMI. Now, if you wanted to use that jack, which you have to use if you wanna record game chat along with the video, and I'll explain more about that in a bit, but if you wanna use that 3.5 millimeter jack, you actually have to go to the Elgato Capture software, go to the settings of the HD60, and change the audio settings from HDMI to analog input. You have to make those setting changes for the actual HD60S, for the actual capture card through the Elgato software. Now, whenever you finish making those changes, then you can close that app and go back to OBS if OBS is your preferred software. Now, back to what I was talking about in regards to recording your game chat audio along with gameplay. I'm not gonna explain exactly how to do it on this video, but I do have a link in the description with a video that I did, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to actually use the Elgato capture card, the HD60, HD60S, et cetera, to record your gameplay and your game chat audio into your actual computer and actually either live stream like that or record the gameplay. So again, to recap, if you're having issues getting sound into your capture card, especially if you just plugged it in and then went to OBS, all you really have to do is download the Elgato capture software and launch that like if you're gonna actually use it. And once it initializes the actual capture card, the HD60, HD60S, et cetera, then the sound will start working. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is. Please drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.